neutralize. Brace yourself. This is gonna. Who's next? What happened? You, you rescued me. Oh, thank you. Oh, and have you seen my brother? His name is Li Ding. We were climbing the mountain together. But then I... Well, I don't know. Did I get swallowed up by the Amber? I think I must have been knocked out. I just hope he didn't get trapped in Amber too. All right then. I won't bother you anymore. Thanks again. I'm going to find my brother now. I really hope he's okay. My brother told me everything. Thank you both so much for rescuing him. <sighs> Our family has nothing to live on. We heard tell of treasures hidden in the amber of Mount Hulao. And with nowhere else to turn, we came looking for them. <sighs> we weren't thinking straight. 
We thought that we could sneak up into the mountain and grab just enough treasure to sell and support our family with. As you can see, the Adeptus punished us for our greed. The Amber swallowed me up, but if you hadn't come to my rescue, who knows when I would have gotten out. Luckily, the Adeptus was merciful. They sent you two as their messengers to save us. Yes! You two saved my brother just as I was praying for the Adeptus's forgiveness. Right here on top of the mountain. Mm, you are Adepti messengers, no doubt about it. We are truly blessed to receive the mercy of the Adeptus. We promise that we will change our ways and make an honest living from now on. Even if it means sweating it out down at the docks. Anyway, we have trespassed in the realm of this Adeptus long enough. We should get going. Thank you, mighty Adepti messengers. Yes, thank... Boy, it'd be super helpful if we actually were Adepti messengers. Cause it seems like this Adeptus has got a real temper problem. But it's not like we've done anything wrong, so... Oh. Who dares trespass on my mountain? Who is... Foolish mortal. Come forth and receive your punishment at... You intrude upon the sanctity of Mount Hulao. You destroy the amber of my mountain. And you free a thief whose freedom is not yours to give. The thieves' ignorance was an affront to the Adepti. But your actions are an abomination of the highest order. Wait! We can explain! Mooncarver! Trusted a mere mortal as his messenger? Is this a sigil of permission? One is surprised to find such things still exist in the mortal realm. In the beginning, Rex Lapis cast them for the mortals with his own hand. Few were made then, and thousands of years on, fewer still remain. Speak. One shall listen to the matter which brings you here. Then one shall verify the truth thereof. You would be wise to speak the truth. For Liyue is not so far from here that one would be easily deceived. Rex Lapis. Assassinated? At the rite of dissension? What mortal in Liyue, nay, in all the world, would conspire to commit such foul treason? Or perhaps the more pertinent question is, what power in this world could aspire to achieve it? Rex Lapis charged the Adepti with the protection of Liyue, and we have always honored this duty. As the people have prospered, so have we gradually withdrawn into the mountains. Indeed, this was a gesture of goodwill towards humanity. But now, alas, Rex Lapis, gone. Traveler, of the matter you have relayed, one has become aware. One now knows why Moon Carver has sent for us. Once one has dealt with certain matters here that require my attention, one shall convene with the other Adepti. Paimon can! Adepti always have magical powers in storybooks. Seems it's true in real life, too. You know, like how grass is actually Adepti hair, and rivers are actually Adepti saliva. There must be something similar going on with the Amber. Your nonsense knows no bounds. This amber is produced by a flower that one has planted here, 
called the Karst Crawler. The majority of the plant is hidden underground. When stepped on, it produces amber to trap the invader. After taking up residence here, one planted many karst crawlers to ensure that the tranquility of the mountain would remain undisturbed. Over the years, they have helped to prevent many disturbances. But in the process, they have also trapped many curious things. Oh, so the amber is alive? Correct. Thus, one may not leave this place in its current state, for fear of the risk to innocent lives in one's absence. One will depart as soon as one has attended to this matter. One trusts that the manner of your departure will be swifter in nature. 